Okay, now we are going to do an estimated position. An estimated position is where we are uh, almost, uh, we're trying to work out where we're going to be after a certain amount of time uh, allowing for currents and leeway with the wind. Okay, so uh, as always, we've got to find our start position. Um, even the best navigator in the world can't navigate without knowing where he is. So I'm going to try this one here. Okay, question number three. So we'll be, our start position is 29 degrees, 38.8 minutes south, and 31 degrees, 17.4 minutes east. And that'll be at 15.30. Okay, so uh, I'm going to find our start position first. So... 29, which is up here, 35, 36, 37, 38, 2, 4, 6, 8 is going to be there. So I'm going to put my ruler onto the line of latitude, bring it up to there. I don't have to make a long line, only where I'm going to be working. And I believe it's going to be over here somewhere. Okay, and then 31, 17. 31, 15, 16, 17, went to 4, so we'll be there. And okay, so right there is our start position, and that we can write 15, 30, because that's where we were at 15, 30. All right. Now, let's see what we're going to do. We have got our ship's heading, which is the direction we are actually going. Our ship's heading is... So I'm going to put ship's head is 265 degrees compass. We cannot put a compass course onto the chart. We have to put a true. So, T, V, M, D, C compass course is 265. Remembering that we are going to add west going that way, subtracting east if we're going that way. So, so we're going to do the opposite because we're working from this side to the side. So we are going to be subtracting west and adding any east variation or deviation. What we need now is a deviation card. Okay, so we are looking for a ship's head of 265. 260, in between 260 and 270 is 265. Oh, that's kind of handy. So the deviation is halfway between 8 and 8, which is 8. So that would be 8 degrees west. Okay, I can move the deviation card away. I'm going to use my calculator because I'm not very smart. 265 minus... 8 equals 257, which gives us a magnetic of 257 degrees. The variation in Durban is 25 degrees west. So we are going to go 257 minus 25 equals 232. 232 degrees true. So what is that telling us is our ship's head is 2. 132 degrees true from our start position at 1530 and what we're going to do is we are just going to put that short line because we're not going that direction we're just pointing in that direction so 232 okay from the middle of the compass rose to 232 bring it up to my start position and I'm just going to do a short line just that short line, 232. Okay, because that's the direction we're pointing. And if we look further at the question, we can see a few more things. Oops. Okay, the wind direction, wind, was from the northeast and it was causing three degrees of leeway. Okay. 
And while we're doing it, because we're going to have to allow for some current. So the current is setting at 215 degrees, and they always give that to us in true, so we don't have to do a calculation. And the rate, so that would be the set, and the rate is 4 knots, which would be the rate. And what we want to know is our estimated position at, what are they asking for, 1700. Okay, so we've got our start position, which comes from the question of 29 degrees 38.8 minutes south and 31 degrees 17.4 minutes east. And that was at 15.30. Okay, our ship's head is not 265, it is 298 degrees compass. So we're going to have to change that from compass to true. Okay, we have got a wind direction which is northeast, causing three degrees of leeway. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got all the information. So we can. It's always good to get all the information down first, so you don't mix up the wrong questions. Okay, so what we need to do, we've got our start position, which uh, we can measure our uh, latitude, which would be twenty nine degrees thirty five six seven eight. Point two four six eight. Okay, uh, we can put our ruler on a line of latitude, bring it up to there, and we can draw our line. And our longitude is thirty one seventeen point four, thirty one, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen to four. Now we need to do is put our ship's head in, and our ship's head is 298 degrees compass. We must do it in true. So 298 degrees on our deviation card is only 2 degrees away from 300. So I'm going to use 300 deviation 5 degrees west. Okay. 298 minus 5 equals 293. The variation is 25 degrees west. Minus 25 equals 268. Okay. I can put that on, but that is the direction. The ship's head is the direction we are pointing. So I can go to 268. On the compass row, starting in the middle, going to 268. And from our start position, I can put our short line. That is the way we are pointed. It's not what we are doing, it is the way we are pointed. Okay. And then we can see our wind. Our wind is going to blow us away from which way we are going. So the wind from the north east is coming in this direction, which is going to blow us off our course by three degrees this way. So our true was 268. It's going to be minusing three degrees. Minus three, which is going to equal to 265 degrees true. 265. This will be our water track. So what we can do now is we can measure our boat speed. We're going to use one hour of boat speed onto our water track. And our boat speed was four knots. Four knots is equal to four miles per hour. So I can measure four miles from my start position and put a dead reckoning mark. Four miles would be from 45 to 49. Should be about there. From our start position to there. 
Had there been no current, that is where we would have been after one hour of travelling on that course. But there is current. Okay, and the current has a set of 215 degrees true at 3 knots. So, 215 is going to be from there to 215 is over here somewhere. So, I can line it up from there to 215. Walk it up to my dead reckoning mark. Okay, and that is going to be our current vector. So, it gets three arrows. And we had one hour of boat speed, so we must do one hour of current, which would be three knots, which is three miles per hour. So 45, one, two, three. Okay. So we would have had one hour of boat speed and one hour of current and this would have given us our estimated position after one hour so that would be at 16.30 of course we didn't go there and down here we went in one direction so I can actually join our start position to our estimated position which will give us our ground track two arrows for two feet on the ground and there we go. But unfortunately, the question wanted to know what time at 1700. That's our position at 1630. Okay. So from 1530 to 1630 on the ground track will give us our, that over a little bit, our speed made good, which is equal to, if I measure from our start position, to be okay five six point three six point three knots okay so 1700 is another half an hour past 1630 so if we are going at 6.3 miles per hour in half an hour we will travel 3.15 miles. That sound right? Seems right to me. Okay, so one, two, three point uh, two five. Okay, does it make sense? It's about half of that. Yeah, that's about right. So this will be our estimated position at 1700. We could take our latitude and our longitude. There we go.